AFC stands for Adolescent Family Center and we provide a full range of reproductive health services for young people ages 12 to 25 in Chicago. I'm Sally Lemke, I'm the director of the Rush Community-Based Practices and that is comprised of the Adolescent Family Center and the Rush School-Based Health Centers. When I first started, the, the AFC was tucked into a small corner of a small office in the professional building. It had just moved from being just a unit on the labor and delivery ward. So in those days, in our offices, you could literally touch both walls just by putting your arms out. We were a tiny little thing. We only saw in those days maybe three or four hundred teenagers a year. Now we're up to close to a thousand a year. The AFC is important because adolescents have certain barriers to accessing reproductive health care that adults don't typically have. And they need to be able to access these kind of services in a private, confidential, friendly setting where they can feel comfortable to get the best care that they need. They've helped me with by giving me knowledge of what to expect when the baby gets here. Um, they helped me with my emotions. I was excited, but I was also scared because I wanted to make sure I give my child the life that I didn't have. The main importance of something like the Adolescent Family Center is it works to reduce the incidence of teen pregnancy. Every year, the federal government estimates the teen pregnancy costs American taxpayers somewhere between 11 to 12 billion dollars. By helping to prevent those teen pregnancies before they happen, we not only save the city of Chicago money, we save the state of Illinois money, we save the United States government money, which means we save taxpayers money. We provide them with the means and the opportunity to be able to go on with their lives, to become productive adults to go on to finish high school, to go on to finish college, to go on to finish graduate school, to become the professionals that they're destined to be. You don't get a lot of help from a lot of people without just asking. You know, my mother always told me a closed mouth doesn't get fed, but now that I came to Rush, it shows me that sometimes you don't always have to ask. For them offering the help, letting me know what I could do, what to expect, you know, what to look out for was a good thing instead of me always having to ask the questions because before I could even ask, ask the questions, they was already answered. The AFC started just providing prenatal care to pregnant teens, but then we realized we need to do something to help prevent them. So that's when we started to get into providing contraception, the testing and treatment for STDs, and then we realized that it would also be much easier if we just educated teens not to get pregnant. So we, that's when we started doing the sex education in the schools. We try to keep in mind the basic mission of the AFC, which is number one, to reduce the actual incidence of teen pregnancy, number two, to provide quality care to teens who do get pregnant, and number three, for those teens who do get pregnant, helping them get back on track to become productive adults. I see nothing but opportunity here. I think there's just this is the kind of place, especially with the changes going on in healthcare and the focus on prevention, the focus on you know the declining pregnancy rates on teens, we can just continue to grow the good work that we're doing. With the assistance here at the adolescence program at Rushes, you know it's good to know they're here, that you know they have a, they have their ears here for you to listen and you know they're just one call away.